we doing? Lost Hunter Solo Survival Challenge. No food, no water, no shelter. Knife saw, 22 long rifle. That rifle doesn't look that long. Well, he already killed something. I got good news. Did he kill all I the crows? Bad. The good news is I got a gross. The bad news is I'm freaking completely lost. If you ever hunted enough, you've been turned around. Thankfully, I've never had to go overnight, but I've come very close more than a few times, more than I'm willing to admit. Now, the first piece of advice I want to give you guys is when you first get lost, don't stop trying to find your way out. <laughs> is if I did that, many a times I would have spent the night out. Give it two or three hours, see if you can't find your way out. This is the Lost Hunter. I wanna teach you guys what I would do if I was lost in the woods. Let's see if we can't figure out where we oh, are and get out of here. If we Does can't, they not have a compass? we'll cross that when we need to. All right, I'm We're probably gonna make it. Best thing to do, don't get dehydrated. Don't burn too many Just calories. bring a compass, or well, slow, think, listen. Maybe you'll hear something that'll help you orient yourself. Maybe you'll find a landmark. Ew. I hope a coyote didn't pee right there. Tastes fresh enough. It's not yellow. Well, the sun's on our right shoulder. That's if nasty. If we keep it on our right shoulder, we should be heading in a direction. If it's cloudy, that's a problem. That's we when should be heading in a direction. It's going to make you want to walk around in a circle. I didn't believe it this guy's until smart. I tried it five times in a row walking through a swamp. And I continuously <laughs> made my way back exactly where I started despite me trying to travel as far and as thick through the swamp as I managed I could possibly manage my heavy foot steered me in a counterclockwise direction every single time when I believed it unless I tried it it's true <laughs> try it for yourself blindfold yourself get a friend to help go out in the field and try to walk in a straight line you'll walk around in a freaking donut I'm taking some comfort in the fact that I'm fully loaded. I got 10 shots, plus I got another 50 in my pocket. 50? 22 long rifle. It's good for small game. I'm not going to get any big game out of it, but I don't need any big game. I've already got lunch, at least. Uh, I've got a water bottle, a canteen. I got a little bit of water. It's a steel canister, which means I can boil more if I can find it. There's a little bit of snow on the ground, as you can see. I can lick that. That's all good. So I'm not worried about the immediate present. I'm worried about the future. He's gotta be That's Canadian, right? Panic. We've got this covered. Keeping that sun over here. Or do you like Minnesota? my right shoulder. He's got the fuck out of boot. I'm trying to find the path of least resistance. I also believe that there's a swamp over here on my right hand side, which is also gonna help me orient. And it seems like I'm traveling downhill. Now, when I came here, I really felt like I was Wasn't traveling it? Yeah, it's uphill. True. So a that's border. going to give me some that's clues. It. You can see just how freaking thick Free it is here. I didn't mention that I also have some survival tools with me, which I carry all the time. I always usually have a lighter. Sometimes I don't. Uh, sometimes I just forget. But I usually have a couple kicking around. I've also got a saw. I just ate $16 worth of fucking... Handy. Beef jerky for firewood in like 20 minutes. Building structures. I'm not mad about it. You could tell there's an opening over here, but I've already tried to go in that direction and end up into a swamp over my knees. To add to this, I've learned that I've got a hole in my boot. Oh, true. Yeah. My left boot. And every time I step in yeah, the he's got to be Canadian. He's fucking fills boot. Up. The last thing I my fucking have left boot. Feet, wet feet. Will oh, compound beef. any problems. Keep jerking, not that bad for you. Here. It's actually because there's not a, that much calories. A walnut tree. The black walnut looks like this here. These are a little bit long in the tooth. Uh, they can smell really, really, really strong. Actually, traditionally, they've been used to dye things. So Native Americans would collect them and they could dye clothing and all sorts of things. If it gets on your hands, it'll die. Actually, if you uh, crush this up and dump it into a creek, it actually temporarily or permanently, I'm not sure. Check into that. But you can get rid of some fish that way. It's simple. We crush these up, remove the skins, wash them, and dry them and eat them. However, it would take about a kilogram or so of those to make up the daily calories I would need to survive. So this is not a viable food option. 
Yeah, but I feel like options. walnuts are probably said, collect these pretty good fucking food. And I'll go off maybe 100 yards. Uh, I would definitely want to clean that, though. Which distance I make today. Drop them down on the ground. Here, that's all you get, buddy. squirrel doesn't come in. Had, like, a squirrel whole fucking piece of beef jerky. Fill, but if I bring it to a new area, a squirrel that doesn't want to travel as far as here will smell these immediately because they're super strong, like I said. Come in and collect them. So, in other words, I might set up a bait site. But I'm going to collect these regardless because they're a valuable tool. If a squirrel doesn't come in, I can eat them. Walnuts fuck, though. <laughs> I fucking love walnuts. I smell something. <laughs> That's just deer shit. The mother load. I found myself a freaking apple tree. Oh. That's a freaking awesome sign. Ah, there's an apple right here. It's a ground apple. The apples are paid actors. I don't know if I would eat a stray like that or not. Lots of wild apples out in the woods, you'd be surprised. The other issue I'm facing here is that these apples, well, the ground around here is probably fairly contaminated with animal waste. Yep. There's all sorts of animals that come in here and they're crapping all over the place. And so a lot of this mud here is probably fecal matter, to be honest. And then the chew marks, of course, is basically they like call French that kissing flavor. a squirrel. Now, if you wouldn't French kiss the squirrel, you probably wouldn't eat an apple to which a squirrel munched on and didn't complete. Because there's probably some I would saliva French the fuck out of a squirrel. There's also probably some coyote here. And coyotes carry deadly diseases well we got some options anyway i, I love eat them anyway yeah you exactly eat them raw they'll probably be, be very sweet actually i found a had apples like this before that have gone through a freeze cycle they come out like apple pie they're kind of mashy <coughs> on the inside but the sweetness comes out you know if you leave a banana long enough it turns into banana bread because it gets so sweet that's the same thing here with these apples but this could be used as bait so regardless i'm going to collect them i'm starting to have more of a buffet then a survival challenge here, which of course is the idea behind Sir Thrival. Somebody tried to invent the name <laughs> Survival and Thriving at the same time. I don't think so that's dying do of a channel, isn't it? We don't want to be these goons out there. In the coyote urinary disease or shit stuff. disease would be freaking very fun. Ridiculously thick. <sighs> this happens with anyway, I'm at nine o'clock again drinking fucking a dark roast coffee. Fuck. Don't get touched by fire. <clears throat> and. Uh, if we don't really get managed, we end up jumping. I'm not sleeping tonight. <laughs> I get through here. Oh, come on. I don't want to get messed up in the eyeball. That would be bad news. You gotta watch when you walk through this <coughs> thick stuff that you don't get a trick in the shoot eye. Like it really times. sets you back. Talk about the forest fire hazards, and I'm not gonna preach to you about managing your forest and all that uh. business. Probably but better uh, uh, throwing a stick up in the air and trying to hit himself in the head. By fire. I can imagine they look a lot like this beforehand. <laughs> like it's just miles and miles of this. It's probably going to continue like this for 300 or so yards. At least in any direction. I've already gone 300, Beating 400 yards this way. <laughs> the sun is getting low in the sky. And that means... <coughs> Well, that means we're, we're, we're going to have to make a decision here. I don't know. I'm going to have to sit down. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to think because this decision will affect the next few hours and this whole evening as far as whether I make it. And I know the temperatures are going to get cold. I know shelter is necessary. It's a clear sky right now, but I could change any second. We could have snow, we could have rain, or we could have freezing rain, which is even worse. Let me, let me sort out what I have as far as what I can do as, as far as shelter goes. You know, because we're in order, right? Food, shelter, water. No, we're doing it backwards. Of course we're doing it backwards because we're trying to survive. We got food, uh, swamp water. We can get swamp water, so that's covered. I got still left mm, some left to drink. Swamp water. Uh, shelter. You're supposed to do it in, in reverse, but we're, but that's only if you are trying to survive. We're trying to thrive here. Get this hundred orange off because it's making me hot right now, and I don't want to sweat anymore. All right, guys. I'm gonna get shot. First thing you should do. Woo! I don't know. Maybe it's the six. I don't know. You know anymore. Hey, the sixth thing you should do, guys, is check your inventory because you got to make sure you're lost first. Now he doesn't we're, have we're to wear lost. We're not getting out of this. Hunter Orange because he has a red so beard. So now we're making a shelter. So now we're doing inventory. We're going to figure out if we can make a fire, which incidentally I haven't checked yet. Yo. Uh, I checked my, my pant pocket, and sure enough, my wife took my lighter out, which is normally in this pocket here, which she always gets mad at me because... His wife's low-key trying to kill him. And when she takes it out <laughs> of the laundry, she doesn't put it back in the pocket, so it's not always there. Sometimes I put it back in, sometimes I forget. And then other times, I remember I have some backup stuff in my camera gear yeah. or my camera bag. My wife my took backpack. all my food out of my sometimes bag. Sometimes not there. Took my lighter. We'll get to that later. Give me any bullets. We'll figure it out some way or other. Uh, so then she walnuts. dropped me off in the middle of nowhere with nothing to 
Why is Survive it always the bed? Because you never know when you can make yourself a wild meal. Got a canteen. Uh, I like this canteen. It was given me to me by a buddy, online buddy, Jared uh, Fenwick. Got my name <coughs> on there just so make sure that I know it's mine. And uh, that's a good canteen because it can be, it can boil water. It's full right now. I haven't drunk in anything, drank in anything, drunk in anything. I'm not drunk, that's for sure. I should be drunk for doing these challenges, but I'm not. I got myself some paracord. Not very much paracord, not enough to do any damage on the shelter. So that's not going to be of much use. I've got a pair of gloves. Uh, I always have work gloves with me because my hands are very sensitive. Not that sensitive. Yeah, he brought season. Whatever you want. I've grown, <laughs> grown accustomed to that, but you know, my hands are sensitive. Probably his own, sensitive right? Guy. I don't know. I'm getting off traffic. I'm assuming. Off tra traffic. Off traffic. Yeah, that's what I was happening. We get hungry. Did I mention that? Of course I'm getting hungry. That's why I'm getting off traffic. And then we got pocket. God, holes. he's meandering a lot. Apples. Lots of apples. And I've got a little pocket knife. So I kind of picked out two potential locations in this area here. Yeah, well, one, he got a quail or something. He's using this wall here. But uh, I feel like he did shoot a quail here, to start it's with. Not, it's all wet. Or whatever uh, it is, a grout. The side up here grout, is not whatever as it is. wet. Uh, but it's still, it's still, it's still wet. I want to be laying in water. That would be not fun. Same, same problem on this side. It's wet. It's low lying. We're in the swamp, right? Ideally, you wouldn't be in the swamp. So this is the other spot I kind of mapped out in my head. Ouch, that hurts. The hands are sensitive, I told you. There's lots of branches here, so I have to remove all the branches. But this is the typical A-frame structure that you want. But on this, in this facsimile of a shelter, I have to make two walls. Gonna kill himself I have to make a wall on the back side tree. and a wall on the front side. See down in there in that little dark spot? That's going to be where I'm going to put my body for the night. Right now, all you need to know is that I got a lot of work to do to cut all these branches out. So I'm going to set the camera on tripod, uh, and get to work, and then clear all of this out. This is the part I really enjoy doing. Shelter funny. while eating. Eating is what I really like to do. But we got to do. We got to make a shelter first, and we got to make a fire, and then we got to eat. Let's get going. Let's get some food. No, let's get a shelter. Shelter first. Bro, I'm making up your mind. To my humble abode. <laughs> yeah, I know. What I was the thinking. sun is beautiful and warm. I wish I had one. All right, enough goofing around. So here's my hovel. I'm going to hovel. put my head up here on the high side. And I've got some good moss up here already. Yo, you might want to nice. trim those fucking branches yeah, down there. You're going to fucking impale yourself in your sleep. Roots in here. Get another ouchie. Want. So if I can remove them, now is the time. At the risk of damaging my saw, I'm not going to damage my back. So... I did a little bit of a miscalculation too. I don't know if you can Maybe hear it's it. Maybe yeah. I don't know, there's a little bit of water here. So I'm gonna have to make a pretty nice base in order to stay dry. There are so many things but for it to hit his fucking structure. everything on. So now it's pretty simple to make the walls because this is gonna act as the ridge part. And if I even if I cover the back, I'm gonna be golden because I can make a fire out front here and then that'll collect some of the heat in here. As long as it doesn't waft in here and smoke me out, I'll be good. So next step is to get some uprights. I'm going to start at the <clears> back. <throat> and then if I have enough energy, I'll work away at the front. So looking pretty good. i got to show you what I'm going to cover this with. But first, I want to make the back and get that taken care of. So let's get back to work. I can't think of anything worse than having to sleep under a fucking tree. These last couple of ones are kind of painful to put up because they're actually really dry firewood. But that's all I got. And hopefully I can find some firewood for firewood rather than for sheltering. There's no way this guy's not high off his fucking ass, man. Just the way he talks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just measuring how long I am with my wingspan. I don't have to... Should lay down in here to figure out how tall I am. 
I'm this tall. I'm just measuring see, how long I am. Pretty naked. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just measuring how long I am. Not really, not really a shelter, is it? Oh, I'm gonna fucking side. die. Well, Same kind of business. We got that it. typical <laughs> lean to design, which is what we're going after. Now we got to fill this in. <laughs> Uh, the same thing with the bottom here. We gotta, uh, we gotta get ourselves shit. off the ground. A I'm bit. this I'm not long. gonna make a raised bed or anything like that because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> That's I'm luxurious dying. bushcrafting. This is survival. It's a step down from bushcraft. It's a step up from survival. It's right in that sweet spot where you get things done, but you don't overdo it. You get a meal because you gotta eat. You got a shelter because you got a shelter. I mean, survive. I mean, not die or live. Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. So that's gonna have to do. Okay, so let's come let's come grab this guy's fucking weapon. Thought pattern is <laughs> this is gonna be well, it's gonna be just about as much work as the other thing. But uh it's all we got. This like I say, we got no spruce, great. cedar's junk. We can't do a skeleton shelter. We're gonna get <laughs> we're gonna turn into a skeleton. So let's go for a little walk. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I have in mind. Lots and lots and lots and lots of dead grass <laughs> that's why this is basically why i picked this spot here is because of the dead grass i got grass. i'm gonna start a fire and this so shit's gonna go up today. so all i have to do now is collect probably a house's worth of grass should be easy enough right Just what a is house worth of grass i'm gonna use a knife for this and i'm gonna cut what's a house it worth and, uh, of grass? bundle it and then we can hoof it not like you're thinking. Well, unless you're a criminal, you don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do I know the difference? Well, I don't, clearly. <laughs> I've never hooped a thing in my life. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Oh my God. This is one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Holy shit. So that's about a house worth? Oh, he's calling his shelter a house. Oh, uh, okay. Wait. Okay, I see what he's doing. Uh, have a look. Have a look, see what you guys think. Oh, you guys are too close to my face hole. That's better. So, obviously this isn't like 100% waterproofing for 100% forever. But if it snows, it's going to be good. If it rains, it's going to be good for a while. <coughs> and it's going to get wet. But uh, grass like this has a huge happen? capacity to suck up moisture without giving it up. Eventually, yes, it's going to give it up, but that would just be a matter of topping it up again, adding some more. So I have have not made a lot of space here for a body. I don't want this structure to be big. I just want it to be comfortable. And looking at this now, I don't think I'm going to cover the front, oh. primarily because I have enough room to tuck up here and stay dry. And I don't want to get <clears throat> anywhere near the fire at all, because that would be a flipping disaster, not only for me, but for the forest, <laughs> as you guys have seen around here, it's all blow down. Uh, this catches on fire and torches up. We could lose the whole forest. We're going to get found that way. Yep. But that's not how we want to be found as the guy who set the forest on fire. We got the makings of a shelter. I, I wouldn't say it's complete personally. I mean, there's a couple gaps <clears> and holes <throat> at the back. Those can be remedied. Uh, you want to eyeball the distance that I want. The I thought this was going to be a chill fucking stream and just itself. react to stuff. And, enough, and then this fucker comes along pretty, and makes me fucking die of laughter. It's almost too damp. Jesus so that's right. going to work to my advantage. Like... <laughs> stuff in my face. I always got some Boy, make it a manger. That's how I came up with the name Woodbeard because there was some wood in my beard one time. I wonder how many things on my channel I did incorrectly. Well, you guys will let me know. Woodbeard. I'm sure you'll let me know about this. Because there's a beard too. in my wood. Wood in my beard one time. Maybe it's awesome. Maybe it's like all you need. Maybe that's all you need. Maybe it's not overbuilt. Maybe it's not underbuilt. Maybe it's just. I mean, my nickname's Cumbeard, or for the circumstances. I mean, I can keep hammering this, burning calories, and make <sighs> a mansion. But is that too much, or is that enough? <laughs> oh. Well, if we're gonna make a fire in a swamp, we've got to make sure we take the swamp out of the fire. And that's what we're gonna be doing here. 
I want to get a nice solid base full of the coal catcher because if it doesn't, if the coal's going to hit the ground, then it can't go out, and that's what we want. We want holy fuck to build up a coal base because that's best for cooking, it's best for heating, and it's best for calorie consumption. Consumption, preservation. It does consume some calories at the start, but it saves calories in the long run. So there we go, we got a nice little base here. I'm probably still gonna make a big fire because that's what I do. Make a big fire, let it die down. All the branches I trimmed down here, part of the shelter. He's I like the Asmund goal here. I kept here. of wilderness because survival. All super bone dry. He just never stops so talking, no matter what it is. With these as well. Half it doesn't make sense, uh, but, but it's entertaining. Used for our tinder, and it's all <laughs> right here. So there's a little bit of method to the madness. Well, there's always method to the madness. Just sometimes it's not a good method. I know we'll make this better. This was a good method. I haven't checked on the fire situation yet, so I don't really know 100% if I can just get one banged off with a lighter or not, but uh, can always do one friction fire. It's been a while since I've done a friction fire fire, but it's good to keep those skills alive and well. That's a decent base. We'll still need to make a little twig bundle to set that aside so that we can put it right on top of our fire and get that thing going. I sort of squirrel go by. I actually have two lighters. Uh, that one works, and that one works. There's a story behind this one. This is a uh, Lucky 13. It used to be at a convenience store in Canada, Ontario. Uh, very popular when I was a kid. You know, I thought he said his wife didn't pack lighter. a lighter. It still works. What the fuck? I found this in an old snowsuit. My dad's old snowsuit that I bored a few. At least it doesn't move his out. Yeah, yeah. Asmund does do that on. I messed around with fire when I was a kid all the time. Asmund, this is my first beer. We got a grass bundle. This isn't really... It's a strong well, one, it's though. More like, and it's, it's my more favorite. Like something just to hold on to the whole business. But, uh... Here, this is your neighbor. I probably know, like, here. four people that right off the could tree. be this Scrape guy. Scraper off. You're good to go. We're going to put that inside... Or at least related to him. ...the grass bundle. The grass is super dry. It's going to catch on fire. But the cedar itself will smolder. And that's what we want. We want to hold that piece of coal, that coal bundle that we make... Through the friction fire people know smolder the cedar first. we got some smoke you should have a smoke within people a minute. note you smoke know, in a minute so we got our smoke and what we're doing right now is we're not actually he's just rubbing one out right in front of us actually just making <clears throat> coals at the bottom Up here's that coals, this is what i'm probably going to send you when i finally do and uh what we're going to do later on what is it nine locks fathom double ipa eight percent where the work comes Very from. hoppy. I really shouldn't be talking while I'm doing this. Huh. Hoppy make me happy. To screw up. Whew. And it's important to breathe while you're doing this. It's not it's not a lot of work, but it, it it's enough. Not being a VTuber in 2021. Most people who don't my understand bad. how this works, it's <clears> a ton of work. But it's really not. Okay, now that we got I a little bit of the coal bed going. <laughs> no. We ignite this thing. So you know it's giver time. <clears throat> A nice hazy IPA. Yeah, hazies are good. This is definitely my favorite, though. It's solid. Don't spend fifty dollars on shipping like you did last time. It's not. You want to go for a whole minute if you can. Go through pure later or something. It'll be cheaper. Until you got nothing left. Well, you last longer than me. All right, there's a bit of the coal there. I'll send you beer. <laughs> yeah. If you want my address, let me know. It not being flat <clears throat> has caused me. That's my wife's. Yeah, that's all ridiculous. Kinds of problems because the coal has been rolling around here, and so has the dust. So what I got to do now is actually pile that dust up on top of that little ember, and it's not going to put it out. That's right. That's my bar. It's going to feed it. You send me beer, you can get my address. <laughs> it needs uh that's the fuel, that dust. So you can see the ember's going good now. We don't want to disturb this too badly. And I actually, before I blow this 
into a fire. I have to move you guys over to the fire. So you see the ember there? Okay, we're just gonna put it down in the cedar and that'll be fine down there because there's that's more fuel for it. You guys can see it down there. I don't know if you can anymore. But uh, I just put it down here. Okay, so it's in the nest now. Just fucking. Now, a lot of people <clears throat> accuse me his beard off. of not doing this authentically because <coughs> I got I got so many things to do before this coal goes <coughs> out. So we're going to fire the GoPro here. up here. And uh, got a guy. Well, I'm going to send you some Amber's chilling very out hobby there. shit. Okay. But I have a couple of hazies I can send you so. too. How's that? Yeah, okay, record. Okay, so I'll put the birch bark in my pocket here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy <clears> for a ride. i got to bring the main camera, which is you guys right in here now, with me. So I'm just going to I'm going to make it, put it in a nest here. Like so, I want it. I want the ember to be touching everything. Okay. I think you'll like Got this the, stuff. A little bit of birch bark here. And, really uh, good. We're gonna go for a walk. You're gonna come with go me. Go for a walk. Here we go. So that that thing's chilling out in there. Right now, it should be fine. As long as we don't, as long as it doesn't fall out. If it falls out, we're done. We're using lighter. But uh, just want to show you how it's done. Okay. So we got to set you guys up here. You guys good there? Yeah, I'm oh, good. It's kind of crooked. The sun's kind of on my eyes, but this is real, guys. This is real as it gets. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully that fire's still going in there. Man, I wish <laughs> that sun wasn't straight there, but hey. I think dead grass is pretty cool. soft. Okay. So let's check. See, it's in there. It's disturbed. It's <clears> I've handled around. hay my whole life, though, so. We tried our best here. I think I would have had it. I have had it moved, but we'll give it a go anyway. He's making love to that grass. Micro cut. Ooh. Matches micro penis. Oh. God, it's fucking hot. <laughs> streamer, streamer, react. This is a fucking hour long video. So if we have enough, I'll look at that one after. The more smoke, the more we can blow. <clears throat> I don't see any smoke, sir. <laughs> smoke? What? Hot check? Oh, there it is. We found it. Go along I'm with me. <laughs> I'm not blowing along with you. <clears throat> Is that what he wanted? Bro, you can cut it. We believe you. <clears throat> don't listen to the haters. I don't need to watch a man blow on a pile of fucking dead grass for five minutes. Blow on my one ear. more. Oh, nope. No. <laughs> Not one more. She went. Okay, now let's get this fire transferred to the main. Drop it! What the fuck? <laughs> and we're gonna... Oh, I should have made this better. I want the small branches down here. Or the gas station gets some that. Yeah, just down the road. And then... <clears throat> then the bigger ones. Pooh. We got fire! Oh yeah! Yes! Now we get into the fun part of survival. You know, yeah. We get to eat. You're just holding it while it's fucking engulfing in flames. Uh, Third degree burns would make this pretty here. interesting. So I'm gonna have to do something about that soon. I'm gonna visit the creek anyway. Because I gotta get doing something with those apples and we're playing with the apples 
kind of playing with those walnuts too. Oh, I just need a break. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of effort. I have a lot of respect for primitive people. People would have done this stuff every day, day in, day out, no break. Well, I shouldn't say no break. <laughs> probably would have had a break that's a winter. different website Peter. at least agriculturalists hunter gathers nope would have been all year long that's why they died when they were 25. <laughs> you ever wonder why you could have kids when you're 15 or 11 that's why <laughs> the lifespan of primitive people was pretty short if disease didn't get you famine people then, made new shelters every is that what he said or the elements oh he was deer. inferring that they live freaking five years if they're lucky <clears throat> most of them two i think three. he meant the fire that's about it it's tough but i'm pretty sure there, probably like uh, people took turns days. making the fire it's not great you know like then the animals outside and it doesn't come in to get warmed up it's just out there all the time i just love and how much he just talked out of his ass these, these survival challenges give me a great amount of respect for our modern life that and hacksaw looks like it's pretty time. fucking legit, though. So I purposely threw some big chunks of wood on there because I want to build build up. And I want those uh, want those big sticks to burn, and uh, they'll burn for a lot longer than. That's the how we made ones. fires back at Daddy's house. I got to reserve a small sticks. I got to reserve a big sticks. This is a big, nice, big log here. Oh. You can see it goes all the way across. I can cut this up next to camp whenever I feel like it. So I got options now. I got choices. Choices are good. We just have a wood stove at but my, or main, we do have a wood stove at my parents' house. The main house. idea just right use now the embers from be the day to, before. Uh, get some of that food I got a big up stick. And ready to go. I'm probably not going to cook the grouse right now. But I'll get it ready to cook. Put it I feel out. like plucking the right fucking now, thing's going to take an hour. It does need a little bit of prep. At least. Before dark. I don't have a flashlight. So anything that happens after dark is happening by firelight. So I got to keep that in mind. I wasn't intending to be out here. It's a rabbit challenge, man. And uh, I do actually want to see if I get some nighttime squirrel activity come through here. I didn't plan on see getting lost, get but myself one to eat to add here to we the are. Well, oh, boys, we got our grouse still chilling out. We got our apples still full of animal fecal matter. And we got our mm. walnuts that have seen better days. That's the selection that the woods provided for us today. So that's what we're going to do. just call me big with. sticks. Jesus Christ. So the plan, you say, what's the plan? Well, Shit apple, let's go! The vast majority of the animal matter off these apples before we do anything with them. I picked the best. Okay, you ones, did not watch that enough. Best. That has fucking ones coyote shit on it. Skins, you no puncture wounds or dipped very it few, for half a second. Because that's going to ensure. 30 water will get rid of this shit. Yeah. That almost looks like a store bought apple. So the walnuts, we got we to gotta get the husk off. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. You probably have. You've probably seen them around. You probably just completely oh, ignored them. You only dumped half the apple. Nobody. But they actually taste not all that bad. I washed store bought so apples better than that. Off them. And then we're going to rinse oh, off a lot of the distasteful outer shell as much as we can, anyway. Oh, man, is that water <laughs> ever It's definitely going to die. Cold. What the fuck? Brutally cold. And now you can see my hands are starting to look nice and brown. That's where that dye comes into play, which I mentioned earlier. So for the grouse, uh, it's a little bit of meth being in my pouch all day and getting banged around. I'm gonna wash this up. You may, you may. Oh, that's his neck. I was like, why is that a tail? That would be a good idea. Oh my god. And then, uh, or maybe we could just throw it on a stick and be done with it. We got a pretty also, I've never seen an apple tree in a forest. Yeah, that was pretty cool. A whole grouse he showed it. On a fire. Uh, I think that was before you got all here, it is, Cody. It's a split stick, and I've uh, removed the bark. He didn't I grab any of the apples the out of the tree. He, he grabbed them off the ground. It. I'm going to cook it the snot anyway. Uh, to be honest, I'd rather have a little bit of smoky flavor. So Brown. all I know... Uh, is those are like apple. Those are like Macintosh stick. apples by the looks of it. Those aren't like crab apples or anything. I'm going to slow cook this as best I can. They're probably not as sweet as like store-bought, but yeah, they're going to be more sour. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, this has just been threaded on. And then the friction from this stick wanting to open back up again is just holding the whole thing on there. Perfect. It seems quite far away and not Talk about simple pretty and indirect solutions. heat there, bud. That's gonna, That's gonna the take apple, a while. Caramelize the sugar and get rid of all of the freaking poop okay. that animals might have left on it. Okay, it's cooking it. Perfectly healthy to eat. Yeah, when I was simple, a kid, we still have solutions. 
Yeah. We have left is our we have crab. We have crab walnuts apples at that zoo. I'm gonna have to search around here. I'll uh, find a couple rocks, wash them up in the creek, and uh, just got rid of the rest of the mud. Put those walnuts on there and made a little firebox. I can't believe I did this. I always do this. I freaking forgot to put spices on the stupid chicken. Chicken? Partridge. Gross. Not partridge. I got in trouble for calling it partridge. Even though that's what we do. Uh, no, nah, we call it it. Okay. What else? Not enough. And grab that at woodedbeardsman.com slash shop. Hopefully it's not too late to make it sticky. I want it to stick. I think he's got to be like ADHD <laughs> or something. Stupid. He that is just all over the place. I uh, waited ad. too long and then it, it wasn't slimy enough yeah. to, to stick onto the meat. <laughs> this is uh, kind of halfway in between. This stuff smells amazing. Give these apples a little rotate. A little rotate? Applesauce. We're going to have ourselves a freaking applesauce. I'm excited. Now the question is, do I have time for a hunt? I do. But I don't want to neglect all the other camp chores because I don't have anybody Bro, else. Bro, your fire's going out, dude. So the question is, if I go hunt, we got to make sure I get back in time <laughs> to make sure there's enough firewood around. I mean, really, there's enough firewood around. I'm probably just going to, I don't know. Clear night. I can see one place Probably where you need more food. firewood. Try to get more food. Play it safe here. I mean, got enough food. Got enough firewood, sort of. I don't know. And I didn't really fortify my shelter enough as much as, as I wanted to. I should probably do that. That kind of looks people comfy. One or two more bundles. If if I sop through that, I'm gonna be miserable. So let's. I do would that, stack the we'll fuck out of that shit. Next. I think that stuff's okay to cook like that. But, it's uh, better than the ground. As soon as you leave food unattended, <laughs> something goes wrong. <clears throat> That's freaking heavenly. I don't even think my bed at home is this comfy. That's just that sad. <laughs> That's just fire is just a perfect right. distance. I can actually feel just sad. a little bit of the heat coming over here. <laughs> His ass catches on fire because it's like attached. Hey, he is, I told you he was gonna stab himself on them. Fifty bucks, he fucking hit him, hit something on there. And he's like, I gotta fucking cut these things off. Nice, Jay Knight. Thank you for the follow. So I've made up my mind. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the Have camp chores here. done like a good boy, and then I'm gonna go out and play. I think that's the balance that's gonna be struck here. I wanna make sure that my apples cook, they're turning into applesauce right now with the skin on and look really good. I wanna make sure I got enough heat, but I wanna make sure I got enough fire to last. Most of the I feel the like night, the dead wood would have been better than be cold, whatever. Okay. That looks nice and but when fresh. When I'm up in the middle of the night and I'm cold, what I wanna do is some work. That wood's probably pretty wet. I do like the saw. But I have noticed that there is a very yeah. short stroke on it. I guess it'll burn longer if you can get it burnt, but... He's not gonna try to just put... I'd buy that saw shape if I ever went outside. The ends kind of facing in, but just the ends. That yeah, I know. I was going to say that. He's cutting the fucking live tree on the those, dead tree. Uh, pieces of wood. Or the yeah, dead tree would fucking... Burn. Yeah, this fire's probably fire hot enough for that. Time. But you can see how Lots bad the... Off right there. Like how nice bad the cool. live tree is burning. I'm cooking right now. Uh, if it was really cold and snowy and wet, yeah, big fire. But here we can kind of conserve the wood. That's the idea. Conservation. You only got a certain number of calories on your body. There's only a certain I have calories plenty of calories on my body. And uh, everything that you consume has a cost. A little red squirrel over there barking at me. But uh, they're not legal to hunt <laughs> yet. I'm working on my chop license. So I have it soon and then fair game. Morbid Get obese. Fair game? That's well, me. I made myself a little seat here. First name morbidly, uh, last name obese. I'll get my butt wet. Everything's wet here. All the logs, everything. Totally wet. The saying is, every time I try to leave, Figure there's a reason to stay here. Like that that chicken's Oh <laughs> apple just burst. These apples are done. They're hot. They're like you couldn't even eat them right now. They're so hot. So they're ready. 
just uh, the grouse is actually not cooked at a very, very, very top. Yeah, you know, exactly. You guys can I didn't even listen. He was talking about that. The very tip is not cooked, so I'm really strongly contemplating eating right now before I go. Maybe eating by yourself <laughs> in the woods is uh, eating in the dark by yourself in the woods. <laughs> I'm not scared of animals or anything. It's just really hard to see what you're doing. And it's done. I don't want to overdo it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tip it over and I'm gonna I'm gonna cook the top of it. I got a nice bed of coals down there. It's looking really good. The apples I'm really looking forward to, but I know if I take it off, there's no way I'm gonna be able Red to Red squirrels it's aren't it's way, easy oh. way too hot. I got my orange on, I was ready to go, but <laughs> I don't really have a table here. <laughs> I'm not that bushcrafty. Is yeah, this shroud? I haven't right seen here. that. I want to watch more of this shit though. Man, that actually looks like it's That's like fun to watch. cooked. It smells like grouse. Am I just going to taste like grouse? Tastes like chicken. I'm gonna grab a bite here. Never none of, I was gonna say none of that seasoning fucking out. stayed on there. That looks like the driest chicken breast I've ever seen in my oh. life. It's a touch dry. Well, <laughs> Called it. I mean, honestly. It's just dry as fuck. I don't think so. I think the inside there is a little bit raw. Because it's not breaking apart. Yeah. But that's okay. That's the beauty of, like, eating where you're cooking. We're basically cooking right in. Eating right in there. The thigh might be better. Cook space, so we can just throw it back on and cook more. All half a bite that there is. All right, let's try this apple out. You see that? You see that right there? That's an apple. <laughs> That's a little bit of caramelization popping out. I don't know what these are gonna taste like. Honestly, I don't know. Oh, it smells wonderful. It's browned, which <laughs> we knew would happen. You know. See that right there? It's yeah, it's coyote shit. Oh man, that's so good. It's um, warm, not hot. It does really taste like apple pie. Tell you what. That's why he just threw half of it away. Because <laughs> it's it so good. It's wrong. <laughs> but it smells amazing. All right. Now I am going to finish the rest of this grouse before I go. <laughs> oh, that just made me hungry eating. Finish this off. I think we have just enough time to do like a little bit of an evening hunt. We might get ourselves to school for breakfast. Bro, his hand's in the fucking right, fire. I got the beanie on. There's no way I'm going to be hunting Hunter Orange. Camp's all cleaned up. It's ready to go. I can sleep. Survivor here. Man's on YouTube. Fine. Who's that Twitch streamer? Over. I packed up some apples. I packed duck up some sauce? Black Doesn't duck sauce? I'm going to go for a walk. Do that? No way I'm going to shoot a black or a gray squirrel in this woods here. Uh, they don't like the woods as much. The red squirrels love the woods. The blacks and the grays There's, love Is it duck sauce? Areas. Doesn't he do like so survival shit or something? I was trying to Put think of him earlier. Ambush them. The thing that they don't have over there is apples. So, I can bring some apples over there, crush them all up. And that that's be gonna me. be a huge sense you're gonna, you're gonna be Twitch stream return uh, wilderness guy? Pretty decently up in these greens up here. I'll watch up it. In that tree pretty quietly and then hear any squirrels making their way through Are the Are you gonna survive in, uh, I haven't seen any squirrels in hentai or whatever the fuck gets it? So be tubing? Here. That I'm not even yeah. gonna watch for squirrels. I'm just gonna close my eyes and lean up against the tree. That's what ears do. I'd be that's disappointed. If that's the point of ears. Because I've not been for a long time. I've not been successful. I don't have anything to shoot a deer with. My ears are gonna hear. Twenty-two is not gonna work. Nor is it legal. Everything. That they can hear. The squirrels will react. See what we can make happen. <laughs> Man gets shot because he's not wearing orange. Well, here he leaves. So, I don't know. I don't think it's worth staying out here too long. I can't find my way back. His mustache is really short. Wow, well, I was worth I just a noticed shot that. Anyway. You always gotta stay ahead of your food. You guys, as hunters, you guys know that. You can't just be like, ah, I got some stuff. 
for today, that's good enough. No, the idea is to stock up. So you try to get stuff for the <laughs> long term and then you continuously add to it. Well, we're back. Oh, I gotta fix you guys a little bit there. How about that? Check out what I found on the white. He was not out there that long. Having some pretty intense winds over the last few days. It was like getting there when he left, and then now it's like I still think it is. not that dark. Up in the trees that was like max years like and years and years. 25, 30 minutes. And I've always been curious about, you know, how they make it, <laughs> what's inside. Like, how does a squirrel hold this thing together? Oh, I mean, I gotta get birds, how birds do it, but I don't really know how squirrels do it. I imagine they just. I mean, the shavings in here is just outstanding. Outstanding craftsmanship to the squirrel. That's kind of the theme for today, and I was really excited to find it. I want to open this guy up. Me? But uh, first, Cody. I want to I want to chat a little bit. Um, the walnuts are doing well. They're doing good. It's Again, filmed like an hour and something lots away from me. As you can tell. Carolina Park boys. Uh, lots of coal. Or was I don't know where it is, but Love yeah, it. I don't know what they're um, doing now. But I wanted to talk. I, I want to talk a little bit about me. I want to talk a little bit about you guys. Um, I like that you guys are sharing with me. It's awesome. You guys are sending me PMs. You're dropping stuff. I know, down. like four Not Canadians, so the two of them look the same. Maybe in the comments, but you're definitely PMing me and you're sending me uh, really cool messages. You can get me on uh, Facebook or Instagram. That's all cool. Um, you can hit me down in the comments too. But I don't read comments on older videos. I read comments on the new videos. I just thanks I, for letting I me know. Keep up with them. Uh, after oh. the after the video cycles for a while, it just it gets too far down and and then it just becomes not as relevant. So if you want to hit me, hit me in like the first hour, first day of a video release. Okay, next time he fucking releases a video, I gotta go Friday find him and just fucking punch him in the face. Uh, uh, Eastern Standard Time, my time. <laughs> uh, sometimes on a Tuesday video, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep up on the Tuesday videos anymore. It's becoming just, uh, it's too much. Well, I'm refocusing the channel. I'm doing things that I think go to his latest video. more with my audience. Oh, I guess I'm not dying in the woods of Canada. Yeah. I think the survival stuff's really hitting it. Uh, that's my guess anyway. That's my wager. So that's why I decided to do this Hunter Lost Bro, he's going to catch himself on fire. So what I want to talk to you guys about is the ASMR videos. There's a good chance that this video is going to end up in a his bed's just gonna... video. His bed's just going to somewhere down one the spark into uh, his fucking house there is because i tried to make a go of the channel just being talky talk, yeah that's what i'm um, saying english speaking but i can't i can't i can't make a goal of it uh if i look up my my statistics <laughs> 10 out of 10 oftentimes 30 out of 30 with maybe three four five videos mixed in there are talky talk videos hey Another you're trying to survive why why are you talking about your ASMR. I know that might be YouTube hard to channel, make, but it's true. The There's be almost dying. Are designed uh, to kind of level the channel out so that I can continue to minus one RP. I love interacting with you guys. I love talking to you guys. <laughs> I love sharing with you guys. I want to keep doing those things. Go to his ASMR possible. video. I'll look after. It's really the ASMR that's kind of the glue that's binding everything together. It's an international audience. The videos tend to have uh, bigger legs. YouTube has more people to share it with, and so it tends to. Over the long run, maybe it doesn't generate I'm as much uh, your shit. revenue. Like that's not a or what being revenue. so good. I'm, I make the videos so I can continue can to skip things it? I love, which is this. So how you can there. help me is watching oh. the talky videos all the way through. A huge oh. thing with the algorithm. Fuck, we're this if you far click through. On it, you watch for two minutes, you click away. YouTube thinks it's not not a very good. If you click on the video, let them click on it. Then click on that. So you, it's hard to get more. Get back to dying. Well, happy after like i've learned something i've uh oh i didn't want to i didn't want it to pop right, here we go now i don't know if we're going to be able to see too much but i don't have a light out here i really don't so we're going to see what we see <clears throat> so i'm going to have to describe i guess what it is um be kind of cool to see like a squirrel inside there but <laughs> it gets a little bit late for that uh it's like a bundle it's like it looks like it's a lot of shavings i've never seen a squirrel carry around like things in their mouth to make these so i wonder if they like mostly like pick stuff off the tree itself and they just drag it over but it looks like a lot of like um like duff it looks like duff the beard i wonder if, the, if it's just the females that collect the duff but man oh man like it, duff it's, man. it's impressive how much make duff squirrel is there. holes uh there's dirt duff and shavings I mean, is this, if this is a bird nest, I wouldn't be surprised. But, like, look at the stringy stuff, the straw. Eat it! Super neat. 
and uh, there's of course there's a couple of leaves mixed in there but uh, it's all just duff like do they hide do you guys any, know anything about this like if you guys know how to how, how uh, squirrels make a nest and and, and what, like, do they crawl inside there and they have a tunnel? Oh, what am I doing? Do they stay warm like that? I mean, hey, a squirrel living out here all winter, that's tough. Especially up in a tree, so that's, <laughs> tough. that's impressive. Tough. What am I doing? Bad streamer. I forgot my lighting. Oh, is that like the building ones? Like building cabins and shit? I sound like a coyote. I might hear some coyotes tonight. I tell you what, this bed is freaking ripping comfortable, man. Like, I'm surprised. Kinda There's smells so like many sparks here. flying at him. <laughs> oh my I'm god. Sorry. It's comfy. I love it. Oh, Super comfy. It's like... It's like, it's like the mattress of the forest, I'm telling you. Well, that fire's warm, it's shooting off heat all the way to here. It's gonna work good, really good. That does not look safe. I'm genuinely concerned. And that's where I shit myself, unless he just added that in. He probably added that in. Yeah, that's definitely added in. 